How you doing? This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, you better wrap up your affairs because tomorrow is, actually, it's today. We were all supposed to die today. It ain't happened. <laughs> and you'd think these guys would learn from their mistakes, but they never do. A Christian group said that today the world will end. In E-Bible Fellowship, they published a series of lectures why October 7, 2015 is unlikely the end of the world. Now, we got three and a half hours ago, and I don't see no asteroid coming. <laughs> Chris McCann, who leads the Philadelphia-based group, told The Guardian UK, according to what the Bible is presenting, it does appear that 7 October will be the day that God has spoken of which the world will pass away. According to his interpretation of the Bible, the world will be obliterated with fire as God promised not to cause another flood like he did with Noah. Well, you know, this guy is a uh, advocate of Harold Camping. The guy who predicted not once but twice that the world would end a couple of years ago. He owns a Oakland radio station. Well, we had two earthquakes on both the day. Both days the guy predicted it. And I started to worry because his building shook like jello. But it didn't happen. And camping after the first one said, I miscalculated. All these guys, these end of the road guys, always, we miscalculated the dates. Must have read the Bible code wrong. And it uh, didn't happen. So he predicted in like uh, June and then again September. World didn't end. So this guy says he learned from his earlier mistakes who said the world would end in May and then October 2011. And McCann is involved in the element of doubt. There's a strong likelihood of this has happened, which means there's an unlikely possibility it would not. And uh, so we get three and a half hours ago. If you see that asteroid, somebody has sent me an email so I can get the hell out of here with our Prius. And one guy said, on October 8th, the world is still here. They will be shown to be false prophets. And they've been seduced into the sin of pride by the lies of Beelzebub. So now we know it's Beelzebub. <laughs> it's Beelzebub's fault. Now, I got a list of angels in the other room and a book on angels. I guess I'm going to have to get a demon book now to see where Beelzebub stands on the <laughs> list of demons. How high up is he below Satan, you know? Beelzebub. So uh, you got three and a half hours to get out of Dodge. <laughs> Before the world's going to end. Uh, what's that now? The third, fourth, fifth prediction of last month. We had Jade Helm, asteroids, comets. And now these guys with fire. Okay. Have a great night if you can. <laughs> oh, God. I just can't stand anybody. These, these religious wackos. <laughs> this is a guy from Pittsburgh. I'll catch you later. I'm done for the night, I think. Bye-bye.